Hello, everybody. I don't know what just happened, but we are back. Yes. And uh, for those of you who are not familiar with who I am, this is Dr. Juanita Bynum, and this is my one and only pastor of the universe. I mean, he is just an awesome, awesome man of God, and in this house, we absolutely love him. And so, you know, we, we are excited about what God is getting ready to do and Absolutely. really what he did on yesterday. Well, Sunday was Pastor, incredible. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, it was incredible <laughs> yesterday. I just was saying amen to the presence of God that was in this place and the word that God placed in your mouth on yesterday mm -hmm. about what comes off of our lips. Mm -hmm. And it was just powerful. Yeah, and, and really, um, I think that my, my expectations were that God was going to tremendously move, but nothing like what I really expected in the atmosphere. Um, the atmosphere in this building was absolutely charged. I mean, when I walked through the back door, you could feel that the people were really ready for this word. And when God began to give me the revelation, and for those of you all who are not familiar with what we're talking about, when this video goes off, the, the video is right underneath it. You need to go and watch that because you need to understand that God is not in the business of listening to us ramble, but he is in the business of, of answering our prayers and making sure that we connect with him. You know, he's not a God that's far off. And the Bible says he's nigh, he's even nigh. into our own mouths, on our lips. That's just how close he is. And why uh, is he that close? And it's because we have a connection with God in our heart. And when the Lord gave me that, that... Um, we will receive the fruit of our lips. We know that fruit necessarily um, is not equated to a human, but it is equated to a tree. Absolutely. And so the Bible said, we shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water and that we should bring forth fruit in our season. And whatever we do, Pastor, we are going to prosper. And so this season is not us praying for prosperity. This season is not for us wishing and believing that we're going to have it. It's the inevitable when you are a tree oh that is God. planted by the rivers of water, meaning planted where the Spirit of God is moving by His power, like it was in this building yesterday. Um, I had to just contain myself because I wanted to just strike out and just go to praying and just you know, going through the whole building, but, uh, you know, due to the time, you know, and it was Sunday morning, but we won't have any restrictions on tomorrow night. On this Tuesday and Wednesday, right here at 215-32 Jamaica Avenue, God is going to move by his spirit because it is time for us to learn how to properly pray. I read something that said to be in rot, W-R-O-U-G-H-T, and to be well wrought. And to be in rot means to pray fervently and to pray with direction. But to be well wrought means to be very specific about what you are praying for. And, and sometimes, Pastor, you know, I don't know about anybody else, but sometimes you get up in the height of the moment, you know, and, and, and you're out there and you just pray and pray and pray. But you're not praying strategically. And, and so you're not coming out with accurate results. You're not coming out with the kind of results that you were expecting. And so now I feel that it's that season and that time for me to stand in this building again, like the Lord gave me for 5 a.m. prayer many years ago. That season has come around again, and the Lord is calling me here to Tuesday night to teach people how to pray for real, how to pray through. And I know, Pastor, we were talking about some of the highlight moments from the message on yesterday. And um, I don't know which part. I have several. <laughs> I tell you, I, I was so blessed. You know, the Bible says that God desires the fruit of our lips. Mm -hmm. And so when we're praying, and when you use this terminology, you say praying to a place of nothingness. Yes. Until we are totally removed out of the way, and we are simply fulfilling the purpose of the will of God in our lives. That's right. And he says the effectual fervent prayer of the righteous avails much. And so I know for many of you out there uh, that need to be here on Tuesday night and Wednesday night because what God has for you, you're on the brink of it. And all you have oh to do God. is learn how to 
form these lips and be, you know, succinct to be exact in what you want from God. Exactly. And I'm telling you, this is a season no, that is. you can get it. Yes, because he even said to me that um, there were some promises that were made to the people. And uh, God said before the year is out, he's going to fulfill those promises. And when you start talking about and or bringing up the subject about the spirit of nothingness, I, I got that from uh, Rabbi uh, Abraham Heschel. And uh, he was talking about uh, the seek for nothingness because the problem with with us in prayer oh. sometimes we we think that 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 God is you know need all of the extraness that we bring to the table and what really really struck my mind about this is when I was very sick and I was a couple of days after the surgery and um, I needed God to do some things for me and I just I was laying back in the in the lazy board chair. I could barely walk to the bathroom, so I was very, very, very weak. And I laid back in the chair, Pastor, and I just said, God, you know, I need you to do this, 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 and this. And, and, and I said, I don't doubt who you are because your word abides in me. And, and I know that I'm that tree that you have planted in the kingdom. And so my expectation is that you're going to do this thing. And two days later, the Lord did it. And so when the Lord did it, I was a little baffled and I said, well, you know, I didn't have the strength to get up and travail. I didn't have the strength to, you know, to pound up and down on the floor, but I ended up getting the prayer through. And the Lord began to say, when you all realize that if I don't require that, if I don't require that, the part that, that causes me to move on your behalf is when what you are praying is specific and it is connected to a heartbeat. There you go. And not just a heart's desire, Pastor, but like he said yesterday, what kind of heartbeat am I talking about, people? I'm talking about it can't be the heartbeat of your will. Uh, that's it. It cannot that's be it. the it. heartbeat of your will. It has to be the heartbeat of the will of the Lord. Now watch this. How do I know that my heart is beating the will of the Lord so that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks? That's where you get conversation to God. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So if you're just speaking emotions, if you're just speaking, oh God, I just want you to do this. But how do I know that I really want God to do it? I know that I really want God to do it. When I look in the Bible and I attach the word of God Jesus. and I plant that as a seed in my heart. Now my heartbeat is not just my will, but my heartbeat is connected to the will of the Lord. And so when I pray now, I'm not praying something foreign that God knows nothing about. I'm praying what his desire is for me. That's it. So really, in order for the manifestation of God to be seen in the earth realm through us, listen, the spirit of God is looking for expression. And that's what prayer is all about. Prayer is not about just our emotions. It's about the spirit of God is looking for expression. It is seeking for somebody that he can be expressed in, which means all the wealth of who he is, all the divine healing, everything that God has the ability to do, he cannot do any of it unless he finds the fruit of the lips, until he finds somebody that have hid his word in their heart, that they might not sin against him. And what is sin? When I know the word, but I cannot stand on the word, because the word is not rooted in me. And I'm telling you all, I feel the presence of the Lord. Even while I'm standing here, the glory mm. just rests in this building. And that's why we wanted to go live here. Because I believe that people are going to be changed, never to change back again. We are on the verge of some of the greatest breakthroughs in the history of the church. And the that. only way that it's going to be done is going to be done through the power of the fruit of our lips. The Bible says the effectual fervent prayer. Boiling point. That's right. Of, of the righteous avails much. And I just feel like we're in an hour where we're going to see the power, the manifested power of God availing in our lives, That's in right. our church, because of what's coming out of our heart. That's right. Yeah, he's, not, he's not interested in the outer appearance. He's interested in what's in our heart. That's right. And that's what the Bible says. As a man thinks in his heart, 
And when you put it wow. out, when you think about the word, if that's on your mindset, fulfilling his purpose, his plan, his will. I'm, I'm so excited about Tuesday and Wednesday night. And I don't know where you are, but if I was you, I would just get here. I'd get here because these two days are going to be life changing. My God. And, I, and again, I just want to go back to that nothing list. You know, when, when you get to a place where you remove yourself out of the way. That's right. And you're totally committed to the purpose of God's will in your life. That's when God really starts to move. That's right. That's it, right. Now, you're talking about the 5 a.m. prayer. And I remember the years that that 5 a.m. prayer was going on and how people would wait outside. Yes. Yes, they at would. At 12 midnight. Yes, they would. 4 in the morning because they were hungry. And That's the Bible right. said, he that hungers and thirsts after righteousness, God is here to fill us. And you know, Pastor, the Lord brought out something in that word. And I'm encouraging you that when we go off tonight, that, that you take a peek down at that message. But he brought out something that was so powerful about righteousness. And how he said that, you know, God would use a righteous person because the prayers of the righteous man availeth much. But then he had me to research the fact that the righteousness that he is referring to is not literal to the point that you can never do any wrong or you're perfect. That was powerful. And I remember that point you brought yeah, up. That was powerful. Yeah, yeah. It's not the righteousness that I am perfect, but it is the righteousness where I disagree with iniquity. And yet, even though I may be struggling or even though I may not get it right all the time, but in my heart, I disagree with iniquity. Fight and because I disagree with iniquity, I'm not in harmony with iniquity. I don't desire it to be in my life. The Lord will hear your prayer because you are the righteous. In other words, you're waiting for God to complete his work in your life. But your heart and your mind, like Daniel, have been set toward the Lord. And for that reason, God can do great and mighty things. Because when we think about it, Moses wasn't perfect. When the Lord chose him, he had just got finished murdering a man. You know, when you look at all of the different transitions that the people in the Bible went through, David. they were not perfect, David. But the Lord still used him because of his heart. Exactly. My God, a because of his heart. God, right, a, a man, man after his... God's own heart. And so you may be watching today and you may say, Dr. Bynum, you know, I've messed up. I've made a lot of mistakes. And my God, I don't even know whether I'm going or I'm coming. But I want to let you know that the very fact that you have that kind of thought in your mind says to me, that you belong to God and the devil cannot have you. And we're going to be praying for you. We're going to be praying for you that God would take you to that next yes, dimension God. where you would be in the third dimension. And where is that third dimension? The third dimension is not approaching God like the first and the second dimension, but the third dimension is in God. And that's what we want. We want to be in God. We don't want to be around God. We don't want to be hoping where is he? We want to know beyond the shadow of a doubt where the Lord is and so we're going to be here Tuesday and Wednesday is the launching and you don't want to miss it if you live in the boroughs in the five boroughs in Connecticut in New Jersey uh, in New York upstate New York you need to press your way like we press our way to do everything else it's time now to press into the glory it's time to press into the power of the fruit of your lips because God said this time around 2018 is going to be the year that the Lord is going to give us the fruit of our lips. Pastor, I believe that. I believe that. And I believe this prayer is a portal, a door that is going to allow so many people to walk through yes. into a victorious 2018. Yes. I, I, I believe that. And that's why, you know, in the church, we've been praying, we've been fasting. And I believe that this is a result of that prayer. Yes. The hearts of the people, what's been on the altar, that God is about to answer. Every it. month, every month, this church is three days, three days of fasting with no food because we're determined. You know, our former pastor has gone on to be with the Lord. And I, I read the scripture uh, on the other day about in the book of Colossians, I believe it's the 15th chapter, when it talks about uh, Thanksgiving Day before I came to you all to eat. And the Lord just led me to go live that 
wherever things are lacking, whatever is lacking in your family, whatever is lacking in your church, whatever is lacking in the White House, because I know yes. that many of us have complaints about the president, yes. but what we have to do is we have to understand that the book of Timothy doesn't lie to us. Listen, the book of Timothy uh, allows us to know that we are to pray for those in authority, and the Bible lets us know that the heart of the king is in the hand of God, okay. and he turns it. And why does he turn it? He turn it as a result of the fruit of our lips because God has given us the power to govern this earth. And so if we don't pray, that is then we get whatever we get. That's, that's what I should have said. Jesus. If my people yes. that are called by my name yes. will humble. He could have said do anything else, but he said humble yourselves and pray and seek my face. Turn from your wicked ways. He said we would hear from heaven. He forgive our sins and heal our land. And you know our land needs a healing. And that's why I believe this is going to be a moment that's going to be not only life changing for us as individuals, but I believe when we get up off our knees and finish praying, we can cut the news on and see the hand of God that's beginning right. to turn this city, this state, this nation. Oh, my God, because I know you remember back in the 5 a.m. prayer, so many things that have happened in our society really in the last 5, 10 years was a result of things that God prophesied right here on this altar when we began to pray. And I don't know about you, but I have not lost my confidence Hallelujah. in talking to God. I have yes, not God. lost Hallelujah. my Thank confidence you, in God. I done been oh, to hell and back with a gasoline dress on, but I have not yes, lost my faith in the power and the ability of my God. Because I do know this, that all things work together for the good yes, to them that love the Lord and to those that are called according to oh, his Hallelujah. purpose. And when you know that that you have been called, then you can decree and declare and not shake or tremble that no weapon that's formed against you Hallelujah. shall be able to prosper. I know what I'm talking about. I have not lost my confidence in the word. I don't care if it takes 10 years. If God says it, it is going to come to pass. And I'm talking to somebody right now that the devil have had you shaken all day long. And I rebuke that now in the mighty name of Jesus. Because he does not win as long as you got a word on the table. My God, the devil cannot win as long as you got a promise from God. And I want you to know right now, you need to, you need to just type that right now. Hashtag a promise. Hashtag promise. Because if you're watching today and the Lord has made you a promise, the Lord himself is going to fulfill that promise. And you've heard me say it many a times. If God can't find a human being to do it, he will put clothes on an angel and I do believe that I believe we're going to see many manifestations well, in I, this I, building. I, I believe that and what you said about hashtag promise God is not a promise breaker that's right he's a promise keeper and when you speak the fruit of your lips in conjunction with his word my God that God has to honor his word and I thought the same thing there were some people watching and you've been really going through but God said uh, this broadcast is the door of your deliverance and if you begin to speak and that's why when you come your faith is going to be built because you speak out of what's in you whatever's in you is what comes out of you and so when your faith is built in the word of God then you speak the fruit of your lips which says God I know that is going to be done that's Right. But I believe it's done now. That's right. The Bible says now faith is the substance of what we hope for. But more importantly, the evidence, well, I can't see it. My God. I don't need to see it to believe it's already done. No, Pastor, you just said something right there. Because that's, what, that's what's wrong with us. We, 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 we have not allowed God to, to, to really birth out our gates. And I'm going to be ministering on that on two, this Tuesday and Wednesday night. I'm going to be ministering on the power of guarding your gates. Because when the Lord charges your gates, the devil in hell can't shake you. Because when I think about it every single day, about the gates of the Lord and knowing, like, like Daniel, the Bible said he saw a vision. But when he saw that vision, nobody else saw it but him. And I'm talking to somebody today that, that keeps trying to find confirmation in what somebody else thinks. Mistake. Keep trying to find confirmation in, in, in what somebody else is saying. But you have to come to a place in God that when I have seen the vision, it doesn't matter that nobody else sees it. Because it wasn't for them, it was for you. And so Daniel saw a vision and nobody else saw it. 
and but they felt the presence and they weren't ready for that presence and too many times when it's come down to things like this when God is calling you to come to a place to go to your next level we always got to confer with everybody and we always got to act like well did you see it or what you feel no he's talking to you and the Bible said when God ignited his vision his eye gate the Bible said he saw the Spirit of God then God ignited his ear gate when he heard the word of the Lord then the Lord touched him his touch gate he was touched by God and for that reason the Bible said now that you have understood and now that you have turned your heart to seek after me the day that you did that I heard your prayer and so we keep wondering well I don't see a, I'm trying to see a sign no the Bible said it is the wicked that seeketh for a sign the Bible says, but the righteous stands on the word of God oh, and Daniel glory, stood on the word glory. of God and the Bible said the minute you turned your heart to seek me and you understood what I was calling you to pray for because it was wartime people like it is in many of your lives today it's wartime the devil is waging war but he cannot win the battle as long as God got somebody on their knees and I'm here to tell you that it's time for you to shift to another place in prayer because I tell you that anything that you need from God when you pray prayer changes everything Pastor, and, I, believe and, and that. I tell you, and that shift you just said, it means God's moving us to a place we have never been before. Yes, Lord. And some of you, you feel stagnated, you feel stuck, but God is saying, this is your opportunity to move into that place that he's called you to be. And as prophets just said, we tend to listen to what people have to say. Look at Joseph, when he shared his heart, when he shared his dreams with his own family, they couldn't see it because it wasn't meant for them. Because he was going to be their deliverer. For many of you, God is bringing you into a place so you can be a deliverance for your, your husband, your wife, your children. But you've got to answer the call. And this is the call. And pastor, even in this building, as we prepare to leave, my mind go back to when the king had decreed that because nobody could reveal and interpret his vision and his dream that everybody would die. And, and, and Daniel said, just give me some time because I'm going to come back with the answer to this vision. But the clue was this, the clue was this, and I hope you're watching, and I hope your ears are open, I hope your spirit is open to what God is about to say right now. The clue was this, he didn't go to people who did not believe. He did not go to people that was not of his same spiritual blood type. The Bible said he went back to his house to Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the people who ate like he did, the people that believed Hallelujah. like he That's did, it. the people it, that prayed like he did, and they went before God, and God revealed an answer. And that's why somebody said, well, I can pray at home. You really can. But if you're in this region, God is calling you to come here. Why? So that we can, we can have fellowship with people that believe like we believe, that pray like we pray, that will not give up that will constantly bombard heaven and do like the scripture said, Lord, we will give you no rest. The Bible says, it's, it's just a powerful truth. He says, where any two or three are gathered together, yes. together, not, not, not on Facebook, and this is nice. We, we, we thank God for this opportunity to reach out to you. We said gather together. And then he says this, one chases a thousand. Yes, pastor. Two, me, you standing with us together in prayer. Two puts 10 thousand demonic forces to flight yes when you enter this room and we join it in prayer and let me tell you we're gonna pull the power down yes amen because when people come with a sincere desire and I believe this that the people coming through these doors are people that have an expectation and a hunger for the things of God that's right that and, and 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 pastor and I you know we had gone back and forth over with this thing and I just said to pastor I said I believe that there was a season that, that God wants the people of God to come into his presence, to come into his presence. And so I'm, I'm, I really want to apologize. But what we really will be doing, we will be putting up clips and snippets from this Tuesday night and this Wednesday night, uh, 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 Fruit of My Lips movement of God. We will be putting up clips, but we will not be able to go live. Because the Lord said to me, I want your focus to be in this building. Because you got to birth out of people for real. I'm talking about 
out an intention on people. People that are having the ability to come through those doors. So we're not going to forget about you because you're going to be able to download the services on the website. You're going to get them. As soon as the service is over with, we're going to upload them and you're going to be able to download them. You're going to be able to go to the website and get a copy of that prayer. If you live in Africa, if you live in Ireland, you live in Paris, you live in another state and you cannot get in this place, we're not going to leave you out. We just will not be able to go live because there are some people that God is calling to be delivered. And I want to be able to lay hands on people, Pastor, and break the spirit of oppression and break the spirit of the enemy off of them without them being subjected to everybody watching their deliverance. I believe that there are some people that are going to be made whole in their minds. And I believe we're going to have demonic expression. But I believe that God wants people to be able to feel safe that when he when they come into these doors whatever it is the Lord is doing for me I don't have to be subjected to the world criticizing that and because I believe now it's time for us to be focused and to be sincere about what God is doing in this hour something you said Sunday and I and I I so concur with it Jesus is on his way back oh my god he is you people can be fooled if they want it and people that preach about this is the end time, but you can see the handwriting on the wall. And I believe this is a call to his church because I believe the church is going out glorious in yes, right, power and right. manifestation. And Jesus is on his way back. And, I, and for the people who are listening, you can feel it. You know God is calling you. Well, we got Glory to go. Mm. And we, we, we're praying that, that God would, would, would just give you give you in your heart Hallelujah. to have the desire Thank you, to go to the next level in him Thank and you, you cannot get there Thank you, without the word and without prayer Hallelujah. because you, i am telling you corey is coming now Hallelujah. i'm telling you that god in this season before the year is out he is going to give you the fruit of your lips uh, yes lord if your fruit is connected to the vine which is connected to the tree which is connected to the seed which is connected to the planting of the Holy Ghost. I'm telling you, I'm excited about what God is about to do for you. And until next time, you go with God, and God will certainly go with you. God bless.